I'm a sexual beast. I'm this funny guy. I was working like 40 to 50 hours packing milk. Milk! How much money do you make with TikTok live videos? Mm, 30 to 50,000 a month. Yeah. It wasn't worth the money. Currently, what is your sexuality? It's me, Mario. What is up, my friends? Welcome back to Uncensored, the podcast where the truth comes from the balls. I like that. Today's guest, guys, he's a social media star with almost 5 million followers on TikTok, a charming Australian with the dance moves of a beautiful Latina girl. Give oh, it up go, go. for Taya Ritchie, everybody. Hey. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. We got him in the house. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Happy to be here. Hey, you look so cool. Really? You have like this anime character vibe going on I right like, now. I like that. Are you also a virgin? <laughs> I am. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. How long have you been a virgin for? 25 years. 25 years. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> no, I like this. No, I, you know what's funny? I was actually a virgin, like forcefully a virgin. No, it sounds weird. Forcefully a virgin? <laughs> Wait, so I was forcefully a virgin for like the first 17 years of my life because I was, I was always convinced oh, I have to be, you know, wait for the person I love. Okay. To lose my virginity. And I was just... Like sort of getting my dick sucked all the time. But without losing these girls wanted to have count. sex with me, but I was oh. like, no, I just suck my dick. Like that's fine. And then you know, eventually, I ended up losing it in a insignificant way. So it was all pointless wow. anyway. Yeah. At seventeen, yeah, at wow. seventeen. Was this religious? What's up? At, you, so you grew up in Australia, right? Yes, yes. What's happening in Australia? We're in Sydney or we're- Melbourne. Melbourne, Melbourne yeah. okay. What's up, in, what's up with Australia? Like that girls are just like on your dick like that. Cause like for me, I grew up in IPS. <laughs> I grew up in a, in a small town in Germany called IPS Bach im Hochschwarzwald. Like I didn't have the same experience. No? <laughs> not at all, not at all. I feel like European Super girls would be like that. No, they're not like that. Not the ones in the South of Germany. Okay, oh uh, yeah. France, you know, they have a saying in France, they say, like trying to sleep with girls in France mm. is like playing tennis with a net down. Oh God. It's <laughs> real. <laughs> girls in Australia yeah. are just like, well, from, from my recollection of memories, it's just whatever you want, you get it, you know? Wow. Um, and at the time I was like, <laughs> I had like maybe 3000 followers on Facebook cause I posted dance videos and that was, yeah. a, that was a lot like back then. Okay. And um, yeah, girls just thought I was like so famous. So they were just like, I'd be like, Hey, do, do you want to like meet up? Like, you know, do whatever, and they would. Do whatever. Like sometimes in the, in the car parks of like major shopping centers and stuff like that. But now that I'm like a refined adult, I, I look back at these <laughs> memories and I'm like, okay, this is cool for me. But yeah. if I have a daughter one day, mm. I'm like, man, imagine if my like daughter's doing this shit at 14, 15. I'm like, cause she, she might be like, so yeah. like most girls are. I'm like, that's crazy. And like, it is, <clears throat> it is biological what? indeed to, to want to, Express yourself sexually, I think. At 14, 15, is that so? How about the US? Are girls that promiscuous in the US well, as well? Well, girls start bleeding, bleeding at 13, so I would say yes. Wow. Yeah, I think he's got a point there. Yeah. It kind of reminds me, you know, he's talking about that he was getting his dick sucked instead of having sex. So in the South, girls will have anal sex, oh, but not sex. What? Because then they're still- They oh, jump, they still hurt. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You know? Oh, come on. <laughs> what I wasn't against it. I wasn't against it. Oh, no, no. Yeah. W w it's not the right hole, you know? <laughs> but you can't tell me that you, right. you can't tell me that you're a virgin if you've been like triple penetrated at a 14 people gangbang. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> anus, 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 like if it's in anus. the anus. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> I'm dead. Damn. That's, yeah, that sounds. But uh, do you feel like if you met a girl and let's say she becomes your, your now wife? Yeah. And you know, she's never done anal before. And mm -hmm. you're like, oh, like she's a good girl. But if you met this girl and she's like, oh, like, uh, yeah, I love anal. You'd mm -hmm. be a little concerned, you know? <laughs> I feel like anal is like almost worse in that in I that think sense. so too. Agreed. I think that's like a step what? above for yeah, sure. It is, yeah. yeah. Cause I personally don't like it. You don't like it, anal? I, I prefer the, yeah, the flesh. S same, same. I'm also like, I, people in, like I've, I tell all the time, I'm very sexually vanilla. You are. I really yeah. am. I really. What am. does that mean? Um, I mean, like, I grew up in Germany. It's like so different. Like when I hear these stories about the United States awesome. and now Australia, like we had, I, I didn't know anybody who did drugs growing mm -hmm. up. I, th then I watched Euphoria. Mm -hmm. You know, watch Euphoria, and it's like these high school kids that are like, like doing all the drugs. And my experience in Germany was so wholesome. Yeah. Like I was literally, I was milking cows when I was seven years old. I once drank out of an udder. Wow. And then people in LA go like, oh, Mario, that's disgusting. You know, yeah, all like, these no, bros. what you did is disgusting. And I was like, yo, you, yeah. just did, you just did cocaine off a toilet seat at the Abbey. You know what I mean? Like, that's fun, <laughs> man. That's fun, though. But me drinking dairy is like, you know, the worst thing in the world. Yeah. German girls are freaks. 
Are you sure? German girls? Yeah. Are you sure? You, maybe this is just IPS Bach and Boosh Walk Walk. <laughs> <laughs> what is that place called? <laughs> I think I think, I think it's that place. No, I think Germans are generally very vanilla. But okay. when you go to Berlin, Berlin is like this, like this special place that's very sexually open. But it does not represent Germany as a whole. Yeah, the rest of Germany is very boring, very strict. But mm. then Berlin is this place where people just—I don't know—I don't even know how that started. But yeah, that's that's how it is. How about Australia? It's like, because I've been to Sydney, I've been to Melbourne. Sydney always felt a little bit like LA to me, like a bit more superficial. Yeah, Mel- it, it yeah. definitely is. It definitely is. Yeah, Melbourne is more of like just normal nine to five sort of people. Gotcha. But isn't it like very artsy too? It is very artsy. Yeah, it's sort of like, what could I compare it to? Like San Francisco. Yeah, you know, it's I like San like Francisco. coffee culture and all that. Yep. I've been to Melbourne once and I did a, um, I went to an underground rave. Somewhere like was it was it in a was it in a tunnel? Was There's a, a train station above you. No, it was in some warehouse like far out. It was in some industrial mm. building thing, and it was illegal too. Oh, okay, you did that. You know, I did one of those, yeah. and um, it was crazy. Like I walked up to these dudes, and they were like, "This is hilarious." First of all, these guys were so I like Aussies. They're so laid back and cool yeah, yeah. and like personable. And this guy walks up to me. I've never seen something like this, and I've seen some shit. He walks up to me with a balloon. And he goes, hey, mate, you want some n- Nang? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, people love Nangs over there. <laughs> what they, is that? they have like the whipped cream, you know, the whipped cream. Yeah. Cream? So, you know, the, the shit that's at the, sure, at the sure. end and it mm. makes you like a little high. Like people the sell nitrous. that and like bro, but condense went, it into cans and shit. Yeah, but like I thought, I thought it was so weird. This like, like 50 year old dude at like a rave <laughs> just walks up to me with a balloon. Like at a zoo, you know? Did Imagine you take that, it? I, I did try it, yeah. Imagine the quality of this guy's life, like for, to be doing that. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, he's, <laughs> he's probably have, but he's living He's life. having a time. He's, he's having a time. He's probably living life, man, you know? Yeah. <coughs> he's living his life, yeah. <laughs> Those things are popular. They're popular in South America. Thanks? Yeah. Oh. I don't know they're called that. I mean, maybe called like whips, reasons, whippets in, or something. In some places they do, like, they have, they're so hungry, so they use that to suppress <laughs> hunger. So I don't mm. know if it's the same. Same as the 50 year old guy in Melbourne, but you know, <laughs> maybe a little different. Maybe a little different. Maybe a little different. You know, we have a little differences. Yeah. <laughs> so, what brought you to America then? Um, so, I came to America two years ago. Uh, oh, just two years ago? Wait, 2020, 2020 August. 2020 August. Oh, so, actually, shit, it's, three, yeah. it's two and a half years now. Yeah. So, two and a half years ago, I came to um, develop my music career. Uh, I've been singing, writing songs since I was like 13, but probably okay. since I was 17. So, I was very invested in it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go to LA, like become a superstar. I, I actually like- did, did you meet somebody who told you that? Was somebody like- Oh, you know, bro, so many people. Saw you on yeah. the street and was like, hey, I, I wanna, how bad I wanna, do you want to be a- How bad do you want to be? <laughs> yeah, how, do you, how bad do you want this? <laughs> no, for real. No, yeah. So I, I won my green card. And so I started going to LA well, when wait, I was can, like- Can you- You, you can, won your green card? I, there's a thing called the green card lottery. Oh my I've God. I've been hearing about this. I got I it. Actually got <laughs> it. I got it. I wow. hear these stories from people wow. and they make it seem like it's- Like how likely is it? So if you're from a country with like a high economical, like, you know, status, very, very likely. Like Australia, they, they like people from Australia because yeah. they know they're going to come to the money, uh, come to the country, you know, pay their taxes, yeah. you know, bring, bring income to the, to the yeah. country and whatever. But basically, yeah. So I was going to LA like back and forth. I was like working like a shitty warehouse job at like 20. And then I finally moved uh, 23. Yeah. No, no following whatsoever. So um, what was your income back then? My, <laughs> my income was like, I was working like 40 to 50 hours, like packing milk. Milk. I swear to God, wow. bro. <laughs> packing I was, milk. You know, I was drinking, I was, I was milking the cows yeah. and he was packing. Them, in like, you know? Yeah. In like a cold room in Australia. And um, th- I think the pay was like 30 something dollars an hour. It's actually not bad. That's not. So yeah, I was maybe not. earning like t- a thousand a week, twelve hundred a week. Yeah, but like slave, if like slave physical sure, labor, like sure. sort of shit. Yeah, and then um, <laughs> yeah, moved moved to LA, just started hanging around influencers and yeah. stuff. And then like I was in their viral videos, and then I was like, why don't I do this shit? So then I started doing that shit, That's and then I quick. met some people who were like, oh, you should do OnlyFans. I'm like, okay. So then like at the same okay. time, my my social media, <laughs> okay. yeah, okay, my social media started blowing up at the same time. I started OnlyFans, and then I was yeah. like, okay. And then I was working a bar job when I first came to LA, which was actually really fucking good pay because I was just getting heaps of cash. Yeah, w- where like, which area was it? Like a it was it was um it was in La Brea. Okay, because yeah. it was not. I think like if you worked in like a gay bar, no, no, that's oh, that could also be yeah. lucrative. Yeah, 
quick question. I saw your video. I just got to insert that real yes. quick because I saw, I saw Which the video. video. The one where you like, um, maybe insert, Riley put that insert here. Insert video. Insert video. <laughs> the one where you like, you just have that blue steel look on your face and you just squeeze a, a, like milk in your face or something the like milk that. Man. The milk man. Hey. And then you just like look oh. at the camera. And I'm like uh, screaming at the camera. Yeah, I think so. And you, but you're shirtless and you're like, the milk is dripping down your face and you're just looking at the camera. I love that video. It. I love it. <laughs> we all love that. I watched it. I showed it, my mom, I showed it to my mom in Germany. Oh, really? Was that inspired by your milk career back in <laughs> Australia? <laughs> Honest, honestly, like no fucking joke. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, no fucking yeah. joke. Yes. Like I, the same pin pad, like pin code I had to clock into that job. I have it as like, no one's ever going to find this out, but I have it as all of my, my ATM and like credit card. Pa okay. Like passwords to remind myself of like how fucking hard I was hustling and how broke I was, you know? What a cool story. Yeah. And every From time I like plug that number in, I like, it makes me think of like when I'd go to work. Yeah. This yeah. is great. This podcast is going to be called From Milkman <laughs> to Hollywood <laughs> Super OnlyFans Star or whatever, you know? Milkman to like giving milk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a circle of life, man, you yes. know? Yeah, yeah. It's a life cycle. That's crazy. You just won a green card. Mm -hmm. Did you always wanted to come to America or did you win the green card and then you were like, oh, I guess I should go to America? No, it's weird. Like I, I bumped into an old friend when I went back home and he's like, oh, you're doing so well, like this, that. And I'm like, yeah, bro, like, you know, it's really good over there. And he's like, I remember you saying to me in the, in the last year of school, like you're going to move to America, but I run the green card already two years after that. And I was like, bro, why was I saying I was going to move to LA? Like I was always obsessed with like, you know, Lil Wayne's music videos, like oh, I'm yeah. going to live there one day and all yeah. that shit. So I think I, I subconsciously <laughs> manifested it and then it sort of just, just came to a reality. Let's go. Yeah. Lil Wayne's in, he's in Florida though. So was Florida on your radar? Is he well? there now? Well, he's East Coast, I guess. Uh, well, I think he lives in LA. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. He, well, yeah. he's considered like East Coast. Or I think he might be New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's from. He's oh, from he's <laughs> yeah. I don't know where he lives now. Maybe he lives in Florida for for tax purposes. That's cool. You like Little Wayne going? Over. I was. I, I did. Was, yeah, I was into him as well. How about Lil you? Wayne. I, I have. So here's the thing. I'm German, right? So like, I only no listen to. I mean, hey, I, I respect you, music. Scooter. Yes, Scooter. 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 <laughs> Here comes the fish. <laughs> it's great. No, I'm I, the horseman. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I like that. You, I mean, I just like dark, industrial, nah. hard techno music. I want music that like that's this, bad. that just like fucking like you're in a warehouse in Berlin and it's just like, gee, poof, gee, poof. yeah, that's it. Sick. Just like comes from me. So it's so dark that it's like just it brings out that like pure. I, I like a lot of like side deep of it, house yeah. music too. Yeah, that's me really too. Yeah, awesome. I fuck with that. So I didn't grow up watch. I didn't listen to rap growing up, except for some mm. German rap, which is interesting. Do you know the song <laughs> Fruling? Frühling? Frühling, yeah. Frühling means spring, yeah. Do you know that one? No, I don't know uh, what the song I is. I really like it. It's a German song. I like it. Yeah? I uh, just recently heard it. I gotta check it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then your music though, mm -hmm. you were, well, what is it like? Were you rapping in Australia? I cannot imagine Australians rapping, by the way. I just pictured that. I, <laughs> I started rapping uh, when I was like 15, 16. I couldn't sing for shit, bro. It's so crazy. And then I was writing like singing choruses, but I would like show my mom. I'm like, hey, what do you think of this? And she'd look at me like, are you sure you want to do this? You, should, you know, yeah, I think you do that. well with this milkman job. I think you should go back to the factory. <laughs> bro, that you face that. I saw in her, I was like, oh. I, I'm like, I need to get better. This is mm. embarrassing. So then from there, like I just found my voice like in the next three years when I was 19, I like finally found my voice and then I started like singing. But um, yeah, I would say, bro, when I first got my green card, I went to LA. I experienced that whole LA dream shit of just, I'd save up at the milk job, mm -hmm. go to LA, mm -hmm. be at these fucking parties after mm -hmm. One Oak and shit. And people are like, yeah. oh, we're going to make you famous, this, that. Yeah, yeah, and I'd, bro, I'd go back home and be like, oh my God, life's so good. Like, yeah. And then nothing would ever happen. I know. Bro, yeah. this happened for like mm -hmm. a year and a half. And, mm -hmm. it, and then I realized, I'm like, okay, fuck. That. Well, actually, I only realized it since I started getting big on social media mm -hmm. and then uh, like making my own money. And then I realized that people what i was doing to other people like looking at famous people like oh bro like oh you know like we should hang out like maybe I, you can do this for me and always leeching off someone then i realized mm. people were doing that to me okay and then i was like fuck like yeah, I that's was what we're doing that's where you're on this very podcast <laughs> yeah, right now by right. the way it's the only reason you're here you do <laughs> no, but yeah but it's like <laughs> then i realized i'm like fuck this is the person that i was and then i realized to be successful you can only do it yourself and you can't take fucking handouts from anyone yeah. and you have to, it's just action and action and action. And yes, like <coughs> people's ideas or like, you know, motivation might help you along the way, but that's all yeah. that it is. They're not going to, bro, is someone going to go out of your way to help 
to help you with your project. No, you have to fucking do it yourself. Sure. Yeah. I mean, unless somebody's like, um, unless you've really earned it some, I've had some people like yeah. right now, instead, like I'm doing stand up right now and have some people who are really like believing in me and helping me that's with that. And I that's appreciate family, that. Then. And yeah. yeah, exactly. And yeah. I really appreciate that, but I never take it for granted. I don't, I don't rely on that. Yes. yes. You know, what's also cool with that is like, do you sometimes feel with your music career, once you started making money on social, mm. do you feel like that motivated you or does it almost like it took the pressure away from like succeeding in music? Both. Both, yeah. It, it became less stressful for me to, uh, I guess, financially be successful with music. Yeah. And it allowed me to be like, okay, like I'm my own man now. Now I can be like as creative as I want, when I want. But it also, yeah. with the platform, like despite the money, like you can market yourself. And like yeah. I've had the most musical success since being like, big on social media because I like found creative ways to like talk about my song or, or yeah. market it. You did and it so well. Thanks I bro. Really, <laughs> like I know I saw that. I saw one of your TikToks when you were basically asking people on the street about yeah. the song and then that was a great way to like integrate that. Thank I think you, it was bro. so Thank smart. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it tough to keep your eyes on the prize since you've been successful with OnlyFans, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that? Is it tough to keep your, you know, the eyes on the prize with music or do you just take life day by day? Fuck it. We'll see what the world brings you. Interestingly enough, like, yeah, I would say so. I would say so because well, long term, that is my entire goal to be like a musical success. But through having this success, um, I realized that no success is going to make you feel complete. Mm. And so the, the urge or desperacy to rush the process has gone. And now it's just like, I used to make like five songs a week and be like, I need to like just keep making songs because that determines how good I am as an yeah. artist. But now like bro, I've made one song or like I'll start a song because like now I don't want to work with any producers. So I, I learned how to produce now, I produce all my own shit. Like mm. I produce Party Girls. Okay. And now I'm just like, I'll, I'll just produce a song. If I don't like the beat, all right, next one. Then like the next time I feel creative, I'll make a song. And then like I made, I started the song called Sex two months ago. What, what now? Sex? It's called sex. Yeah, it's cool. gonna be very sexual. Mm. And um, when I made that- <laughs> Jeff's face just now. Because <laughs> when I made Party Girls, I'm like, this shit's a banger. I'm like, when am I gonna, like, when's the next one? Because not every yeah. song you make is as good as the last, sure. you know? Yeah. So then when I made sex, I was like, I just freestyled the idea and I'm like, okay, I'm going to Australia now for two months. I'm gonna come back and, and rip this song apart. And now I'm doing that currently. So um, back to the question. Yeah, the one thing that really money does distract you from your passion, I would say so. And especially with TikTok Live, I was going live because the, the money was great, bro. Yes. I was going live like three, four, five hours a day, you know, avoiding my social life, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. not, not communicating with my family, like taking away from my mental health, not eating, yeah. all this shit. And that also, that zaps your creativity when you do That's that for I so mean. long. Yeah. Cause it's so exhausting. Mm -hmm. Cause I've seen you and Trav Beach Boy yeah, yeah. get heavy into mm -hmm. that. And like, especially Trav Beach Boy, like I was trying to hang out with him. Yeah. And like- um, No, you can't. When I, I could text him, he never replies. Then to hang out with him, I had to go on TikTok, <laughs> go into his live right now, comment. So and then I would get his intention, you know oh what I mean? Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. It was crazy. It was crazy. Can you explain to people, because it's really like for people who don't do social media, how do you make money with live videos? Oh, with the, the live streams. Because like yeah, also yeah. like do you, how much like how, how much are we talking? How much money do you make with TikTok live videos? Mm. Uh, I was I was making 30, 30 to 50,000 a month just off that. Just off live videos. Just just off that. <laughs> So, um, That's but it, it wasn't worth it's more it. more than milkman jobs, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't worth it for me to keep doing it for like my mental health and yeah. like my other- How many hours a day? I was probably doing f three and a half average. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's hard to track. I Maybe mean, four hours from like from a regular yeah. job perspective. It's really good. To yeah. make like 30, 50 grand a month. <laughs> it's really good. You gotta like work <laughs> your ass up, you know? And you do like, um, like what? That's like 20 hours a week. <laughs> You know, like 20. it'd be more. It's like, like it'd, yeah, be sure, more. it'd be it'd more. Be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So basically, it's there's a part of TikTok where you post videos. There's also a part where you can watch people who live stream, and then there's like a a battling mechanism. So like, me and Mario will both be live in separate locations, and then you join like a FaceTime call, and yeah. there's like a battle, and the battle is basically who who sends the most money, like whose fans send you yeah. more money to which person. Got you. And you know, your fans sending you twenty thousand points, which is like um a hundred dollars yeah and then that's gonna motivate my fans to send forty thousand, and then it's like back and forth and so like people just like battle for hours and make yeah. so much money you know so that's so interesting you crazy. stopped it cold turkey you're done with i it. haven't gone live for five weeks now 
So you clean for five weeks. Bro, I'm, so, I'm, so <laughs> much, I'm so much happier. You're so much happier. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It wasn't worth the money. But That's crazy to say that it wasn't worth the money if you're making 30 to 50 grand. Yeah. That's a statement right there. It's yeah. Really, it really yeah. is. It, like this shit, you, you see it. Like if you go on any of the live creators, they, they're all like depressed, bro. Yeah. They all wow. hate their lives. Dude, I, I, and it sucks because like these people are like, you know, the, you gotta understand, like the viewers are getting instant gratification from sending gifts because it's like, oh, like it feels good, right? Mm -hmm. So both people are delivering a service, if you will. Sure. But yeah, these people are like sending a lot of money. So you should yeah. be like, well, <clears throat> you think you'd be like, well, definitely grateful. But like yeah. you think like these people on top would be like more grateful, but it's like, you just get so used to it, you know? Mm. And then it's like the expectation. And then it's like, you just forget even the money doesn't become important anymore. Then yeah. it starts to feel like a job because your hours are correlated to. For to the sure. Time, you know, all the money. Well, what I always think is so fulfilling for me as like doing comedy, for example, mm. is the feeling when you go on stage and you like make people laugh yeah. and you contribute a positive energy to their lives, right? Like genuinely. Yeah. Genuinely, yeah. right? I feel like I walk out and I've, I've, like I've shared my point of view and it's like maybe made people think, shared my message, something I believe in, right? I talk about like the concept of bromance and things I believe in, right? Yep. And with these live videos, I just feel like if you do something for so many hours a day and it's not really, there's not really a create, like if you do music, right? It's like a real, like a creative process in the yes. live video. I just feel like as I've done like some live videos, it feels like I've, I've tried like two battles with you and I was like, nah, it's not for me. Because it felt like a little. It's because I took you. He did. He did actually when it was very, <laughs> I just, if I'd won, I would be like fucking, you know, I'd be like <laughs> yeah, yeah, seven yeah, yeah. hours a day. But uh, yeah, no, Jeff, Jeff beat me. But I just felt like it was a little like, you know, there was no that creative purpose. A hundred percent. Like, yes, your bank account is growing, yeah. but your journey and you're not growing as a person. And exactly. Yeah. But the, the lives what, are kind of a different animal though for influencers. Like we do everything on our own, on our own time. Yeah. Hey, we're going to show up here at 1 p.m. But the lives, you really have to dig in a few hours a day i guess it's like back like. to the to the normal working force like it's like back mm -hmm. to working like yeah. even though you yeah, like you said the money's really good it just feels like like a nine to five job for mm -hmm. some people you yeah. know so i think for me def like i've had tiktok representatives reach out to me since i stopped and be like we've noticed you haven't been going live as much recently yeah, like yeah. um you know can we have a, a schedule to see how we can like get you involved in this and that and i'm just like yeah. man they're really trying to get me back and like it's crazy as a creator the uh, the addiction well the addiction level to go back every day it becomes yeah. very addictive because it's sort of like scrolling on social media if we, when you're not live you sort of feel lonely when you do it for so long because you feel like yeah. that's your your safe space or connecting with people but interesting yeah there's so many aspects yeah. it's a very emotional thing more than you think which is really and crazy i think it's whenever i go live I've, I've gone live like i went live to promote like stand-up shows i went live on instagram mm. I, I went live for an hour i was exhausted like yeah. Bro, yes I was yes drained, yeah. you yes because there's something a podcast is like something i feel like this is pretty chill and stuff mm. but like a, a live video especially with just you i just always felt like okay i have to be on right after yeah, like, yeah. you know give them something yeah yeah you have to and if you're sad or if you're not like yourself people go, go and watch someone else mm. that they, they want to be entertained yeah you know and that's like yeah are you entertained yeah are you are entertained? You entertained? <laughs> <laughs> they do damn bro. damn I've, i'm sure there's some people like i just want to watch some live video I'm, I'm sure some people have had a mental breakdown on a live video <laughs> for sure like, I, did, <laughs> I did i did once too yeah like oh, right before shit. i quit i was like yeah. i just couldn't do that shit yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy if like a full britney moment man <laughs> come back <laughs> Shave your head. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Damn. But so, so you got to, so like what I did, I was like, okay, I'm really good at OnlyFans and I'm what making- What do you mean you're good at OnlyFans? Like you're good at OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like the way you said it was like, hey, no, I'm like, really good at OnlyFans. What do you trust mean? No, like, hey, trust I, me. I feel like you're online, uh, like social media, I'm a sexual beast and like I'm this funny guy. Cause like, that's that's who I am, you know. That's, I know, that's what I want to be. Yeah. yeah, that's what I want to be for the people, and like I I figured out a, a really nice way to like just keep a consistent schedule in posting every day and like selling something every day, and I was like, okay, with all these like strategies and formulas I have, I'm like, maybe instead of being greedy and going live every day and waste mm -hmm. like wasting four hours of my life, like yeah, when I mean, you think about it, you got twenty four hours in a day, sure. you, what's that like twenty percent, twenty percent? my math math thing close yeah, yeah. Somewhere yeah. <laughs> so um i was like why don't i just quit live well my incentive was like, i'm gonna quit live and i'm gonna just start an agency and like help other people help other talent like myself make more money 
and so, by going live and ruining their yeah. lives. <laughs> no, for OnlyFans. So like, okay, yeah, yeah. A month ago, I recently created an agency. Oh, you did? Yes, I with didn't know that. with um Scarlett, my partner, and um, yeah, we already have like three or four talent, and we've already in four or five weeks doubled all of their income. So like, that was that was like a you know the the test to see like oh, so can we actually can we actually increase people's income and see yeah. like bro and something that comes natural to me like I'll go in their account and I'm like man what are these people doing mm. like they they're like posting once a week or they like they're just not frequent enough you know yeah. it's just like no you know no <laughs> no you gotta be on the grind <laughs> so that was sort of my incentive to quit live and do that and then um currently building that up we could have some like big talent coming on soon so that's exciting and um and i just want to be like you know this big so you go more like you know you be you, you you're graduating from being like you know the live like whore on camera to yeah. like being the pimp like, <laughs> more entrepreneurial like yeah exactly yeah. no yeah. for sure i mean that's crazy it's it blows my mind my modeling agent from germany yeah who has done like massive like he represented girls doing like product campaigns and big modeling stuff when i was modeling he just reached out to me. He was like, um, "Yo, I think he's gonna he's gonna switch and make an OnlyFans agency in Germany because oh, no that market in Germany is like not as Germany. It's like always a couple of years behind when it comes yes. to all the social media stuff. Maybe similar in Australia. Um, so yeah, he, even he now like he's like, yo, there's no more money <laughs> modeling and OnlyFans is like a popping industry where like it creates Only industries. Yeah, on, sorry. Exactly, it creates industries beyond the creator. Like a whole in yeah. uh, um, you know industry is being built." Um, because that, yeah. So OnlyFans has become like uh, models for like modern influences, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, because there's no such thing as physical models anymore. Like you, you just find them online. Yeah. But, That's um, so true. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So how much of is like, how much of your focus right now is still like, is OnlyFans your main source of income right now then? Majority. Majority. Yeah, yeah. Majority. Do you yeah. even make money on TikTok? Dude, I average is so crazy because I don't even believe it until I look myself, but I average like 100 to 150 million views a month on TikTok. And with that Damn. many views, when you think yeah. about it, like if you're getting that on YouTube, yeah. like long form, bro, you'd, oh, you'd, oh, be, no, no. you'd be rich as oh, yeah, fuck. For sure, for sure. <clears throat> long like, form is also a different story. Yeah. Now they just rolled out monetization on YouTube shorts as yes. well. Yeah. So like from that, I'll make $3,000. On the TikTok fund. 150 million views. 150 million. That's mm. a lot of views, dude. Just to cover my rent. That's it. <clears throat> and that's from the TikTok creator. Like yeah, that's from the creator fund. Creator fund. Yep. Damn. Yeah, it's that's really, so crazy. It's really shitty. Because that's like a full-time job, right? And you like definitely on the top of like, you know, views and all that. So you have to. 100%. The yeah. thing about TikTok I realized is that if you're looking for something to, to pay you money for, for views, yeah, it's not it. Yeah. Like you have to funnel that traffic somewhere. Like, for example, OnlyFans. But um, like recently I, I got a snap show and bro, the snap show for a million views is like $20,000 like in my pocket. Okay. You know, so like Snapchat so is paying so way higher show. CRMs and shit, you know? It, what does snap show <laughs> mean though? Is it like they're promoting your stuff on the, cause I've seen, I don't really use Snapchat um, cause I'm, I guess too old or too German or whatever. Mm. I never yeah. got into it. So Snapchat you have like, you also have short form vertical content now, right? But then you uh, have these yes. like shows. So a snap show means they help you produce the show or is it like, cause I've seen some shows of like, I think Logan Paul did a show mm. when he was doing the boxing thing where they had like kind of like mini vlogs on Snapchat. The show is like a fancy word for, like if you imagine all of your TikTok content, yeah. like three minutes of your content smashed into one episode. It can have a theme or a niche or it cannot, you know? Okay. So like one episode is three minutes and in between is like all these ad placements. Oh. So that's basically how it works. And it has its own similar like, organic algorithm page like all the other apps but yeah. i i think for the shows they like do push out good content more yeah um and yeah it's i think it's the best paying like social media app in that in that form that's crazy yeah mm. yeah all right let's talk some numbers though people want to hear numbers yes how much you make in only fans per month <sighs> it's uncensored really we gotta say this you, right. you don't have to but like, i'm not forcing you but i kind of am you know what i mean you, <laughs> you don't have to we can bleep it out whatever and i can just react to it but you can just say like yeah, yeah, average yeah. like what are we talking like just give me a range I let's start there I, <laughs> ten thousand dollars no more yes twenty thousand dollars more fifty thousand dollars more fifty more than fifty thousand dollars so yeah so uh, okay he's That's doing with the live videos yeah. <laughs> 70,000. More. More than 70,000. Fuck. He's a good looking guy. Look at him. He's a good looking guy for sure. 100%. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I'll just say, I make like, um, 
the average month is like a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Let's go. But like, I had some good months. It was like one twenty, one thirty last okay. year. But um, yeah, it ne- it's never below ninety. It's never below ninety. Wow. Yeah, that's my rule too, guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's my rule too, man. <laughs> hey, whatever happens, you know. You're there's out. There's good months. There's bad months. But like. Below 90? No. no. But yeah, but then I realized I'm like starting this agency. I'm like, how many other people like actually make a hundred thousand a month? Cause like they're they're sort of the people depends on your gender. Because there's True. definitely females very easy for there them. There is to a do wage it. gap and we need to talk mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. We need to talk about it. How is it possible that in this industry women are being paid on average four to five times more for the same exact job? hundred percent, bro. I call sexism. Yeah. <laughs> Just with it. Wait, He's like when you said that, so are you saying there's a lot of people making a hundred thousand? There's not. Anymore? No, I was thinking like because I think it's like top. When I look at the th- my thing, it says like top zero point zero three or zero four. And I'm like, yeah, that's a low percentage. So like, how many other people would be doing that? Because they're the sort of people I want to represent. And then it's like, okay, for me to even get across to those people, you know, they've probably been burnt in the past as well. And mm-hmm. then they're gonna be like, well, because I was burnt in the past from agencies as well. And they were like, oh, we can make you more money. And like, bro, these people sucked. And I I'd take them off yeah. my account in two days. I'm like, no. Yeah. So I guess finding those people, you know, because that's that was sort how of the you, aim. How do you find those people? Do you go out on the street? Do you go go in the steam room in a gym? You go like, no, hey, bro, he's got a dope dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got what it takes. <laughs> where where primarily focusing on female talent? This makes mm, sense. Makes yeah, sense because yeah. obviously there's more of an audience for it. I get um, it. I get it. And it's easier to find successful female talent. Yeah. Um, and I, I think you find them just explore page for you page and I can see from their metrics like how many followers they have, their interaction, how many, how much media likes they have on their OnlyFans, yeah. their Twitter. I can tell from that. I can pretty much always Predict. estimate how much they're making a month and I'm not going to like, yeah. And then, then that basically gets the pitch, right? Yeah. Like the pitch, right? What's your pitch? All right. I'm a girl, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah you yeah, see yeah. my profile. Yeah. You've seen, you've seen this, you know, and you're like, Hey, uh, this, this girl, is, she's, she's got potential, she's, you know? So how do you approach me without being, cause I feel like that's always <laughs> weird as a, for, w- working with women. I respect that because yep. I think it's more difficult than working with dudes. hundred percent. Cause you know, it, it's just how the world works. Yeah, cause yeah. G- girls are naturally like, not scared, but intimidated. Rightfully by, so. By males. A lot of men yeah. have done some fucked up shit. You know, yeah, hundred percent. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, the pitch is like, hey, uh, this is how much I make. I can tell you're doing well, but if you want me to double your income, I can apply the same strategies and resources that I have to 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 your account, and I can guarantee you will increase your income. Damn. You know, all like right. Now yeah. you sold me. And then it's like a commission, I mean, right? You take a good. percentage and you help them with <laughs> everything. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Dope. I mean, that's the wor- that's the that's the new model. I love that. And how do you think? Like, I always wonder about this because, like, okay, there's people like I, for example, I'm like pretty like on OnlyFans. What I do right now, mm. I have a new OnlyFans that's like for comedy. So I'm doing OFTV. Oh, that's cool. So I like, like that. I have a free page with You're comedy. Like more user friendly with with um like the OnlyFans. Um, what's it called? The people who run the shit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like they love you. Yeah. So like I'm trying also. I'm rebranding much more towards like That's comedy good. and because I fucking it fuels me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell I jokes with your dick out, huh? Literally. Yeah. No, literally. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the same material. You know That's what I mean? Weird. Just like with my dick out. Um, uh, no, kind of. I just do like you know sexier stuff. I post some modeling photos because on Instagram I don't post any like sexier stuff anymore. I do mainly like comedy stuff. And um, so OnlyFans now is the place because so much shit gets taken down on Instagram. So I've, I have, or even um, TikTok and whatever, mm. you know, we talked about it before a little bit. So now I have this as like a platform I can post that and, and, and it's great. I love it. How much do you think it depends on how, ex- how explicit do you have to go to make, them, to make that amount of money? Um, do you think people who go super, because Reno Gold, for example, a friend of ours. Yes. I don't know if he makes I'm, like- I think I'm aware of yeah. him, yeah. It's like if he has like, say somebody with like 5,000 subscribers on OnlyFans, he has he, five thousand. You know that. I or don't know. He makes. Guessing. He makes. He makes. What do you make? Like a hundred thousand around that realm. But he's like a. He's like. I feel like he would make more. I don't think so because I when I had his I I used to have a time when I was making a lot of money in OnlyFans. I had like also six thousand subs. Yeah. And I did not. I was not super explicit. And I made probably the same amount that he was making doing uh, highly explicit. Because I always feel like on OnlyFans, the more explicit you go, this becomes the new norm. It does. Yeah. Right? And then and the line in the sand keeps moving where I experienced it for myself. I started making videos, baking videos, making a birthday cake with my best friend, Travis Bryant, 
in her underwear and that was my OnlyFans content. Mm. Cut to like Interestingly a couple, enough. and then I'm a fucking apple pies with Jeff a year later. Wow. Like an American pie. <laughs> Yeah, and then the cups, you know, the and cups. Then the cups. <laughs> the cups. I love the cups. No, yeah. but the thing is, is like, I think the answer is yes. I think the more explicit you are, the more money you're gonna make. Okay. Uh, and I, I see it with a lot of female talent as well. Like the, bro, these girls aren't even posting, showing boobs, and they're making more than forty thousand a month. Like that's to me, that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Like, I wish I could do that's that. absolutely crazy. Yeah. But the thing is, is like, I don't do porn, but like, I love the gay community so much, but a, a portion of them really expect me to like, you know, like have sex with other guys and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I, I don't necessarily want to do that. So yeah, you maybe know. you haven't found the right guy yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cut, cut I'm off, sorry. Cut off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Find the rest on <laughs> OF, guys. <laughs> no, but I, I feel like people, talent should do... It, I, I do think a, a major part of it is about making the fans happy. Yeah. And I like to be des desired as a sexual beast. Sure. And, I love how you say that sexual yeah, yeah, beast. And, like and be like yeah. sexual right. around my other good looking friends. Like that's yeah. awesome. But like to to pressure someone or like, you know, you should just do the talent should do what they're comfortable doing. You yeah. know, at the end of the day, like you, I think it's very important to set boundaries because I, I do know a lot of creators who they, they're young, they're immature. And, you know, they're like there's so much opportunity to make sure. money. Like I know if I'd stepped up my game and did and did like double with what I'm doing now, like explicitly, yeah. I could probably make 250 a month. Yeah. But like I wage it up in my head and I'm like, is that extra hundred thousand worth it? No, sure. it's not. Honestly, it's yeah. not. Yeah, and I, yeah. I'd rather just doing what I'm doing now. And yeah, because you have to have you have to have the boundary and not not cross your own lines. I think that's really important. Yeah. For like your own, you know, ethic value for yourself. Yeah, because oh man, the comments on OF were so like it's hard sometimes, you know, when you like you make something that posts like some sexy photos mm. or whatever. And I'd, I've done like nudes and stuff on OnlyFans mm. Mm. and then people go like, what the fuck is this? I'm paying for this. He's not even playing with toys or some shit like that. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, wow, yeah. you know, it's just um, there's always know. the expectation for more. <sighs> and you I know? feel like what I what I found like hard is that people feel like just because they're paying like um, like twelve dollars a month. They feel like they own you, you know. Yeah, they yeah. feel like they just. If you feel like that, imagine with live, bro. Mm. Those people Ooh. really feel like they own you. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's like you gotta, you gotta be there. You gotta and be there. <coughs> yeah, and if yeah. you're not, like, they're not gonna, you know. Yeah. Put give you rockets. <laughs> Man, I realized that I was so it was so frustrated when I did with 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 Jeff, you know. Some dude sent him a galaxy or some shit like that, and he goes like, "Oh fuck, a galaxy!" I was like, "What the fuck's a galaxy, dude? I don't even know what that is." Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like, Mario, like five Mario bucks. was so bad bucks. when I the one time you got on, I barely beat you, and you were so mad. Yeah, I was I'm like, like no, "Fuck this shit, fuck this app. I'm never gonna post on here again, <laughs> ever." Yeah. Hey, let's hear a little bit of the vulnerable side of Teo. Yeah. Right. Have you had any? Has, um, Hi, how you doing? Has social media broken you down at all? Do you have any <laughs> insecurities? You know, I'll say this. So I modeled for forever and just staring at myself over time. Yeah. It doesn't get better staring at yourself over time. And so it's a little bit weird to, you know, you analyze yourself superficially all the time. At least I have. That's such you, a good question, bro. Anything, honestly. anything like broken you down yet online? I know you're young. I know you're a young cat. Yeah. 100%. So many moments. Um, I feel like it, it makes you a stronger person and a, and a better person. But like something I'm, I've always been is very confident in myself. So I, I've never ever uh, put value on someone else's opinion on myself because I'm like, well, this is, this is me. Like this is my life. So fuck them, you know? Yeah. And if they appreciate me, then that's amazing. But if they're going to bring negativity, then like die. Basically. Do you get a lot of like hate on like TikTok and stuff like that? Um, yeah. Like I, I, I know that if, unless I incite hate towards myself, on my like i sometimes 40 50 60 percent of the time stage my videos like if they're boring i'll tell like people what to say yeah and i i edit it in a way that like makes me look like the villain you know okay because I, I, so i understand yeah. that all right if i'm saying something harmful to you uh -huh. i'm gonna get reported and everyone's yeah. gonna hate me but if they're saying some something harmful to me oh i'm the i'm the good looking guy with a six pack and oh i got told you know mm. and and this yeah. is what i realized about human psychology is that people don't want to see you doing better than them and because it makes them feel worse about themselves so when they see you getting ripped apart like absolutely yeah. 
they're, bro, they're like getting sad. They're like, oh my God, finally he's getting told. He, oh, his ego must be so hurt. Mm. But for me, I'm just like, oh, I'm getting the views. Like, that's oh, another banger. Oh, that's a viral video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's so yeah, true. That's you know nice. what? It's such an interesting thing. Cause like, it's true. Like the, there's studies about how negativity travels way faster than positivity. Mm -hmm. And you see it in representing in YouTube titles, right? A YouTube video like called the whatever, Logan Paul's biggest scam, the downfall of this person is always going to get more views than like something, a positive angle on that. You know, that's just how humans work. Or it's like, so interesting. So why, yeah. why you should have sex versus why you shouldn't have sex. Exactly. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Not. yeah. Or like, you know, why, um, why the housing crash is coming in 2023 and, and like some negative stuff that's like, oh my God, you know? No, that's I, so crazy. Yeah. Back to yeah. the question. Um, yeah, I've had my my main like my main TikTok account has been taken down permanently like yeah at least thirty times in the last year. <laughs> That's and crazy. It's fucked. Yeah, and so I, does it even affect you when you get the notification? Oh, my account's gone. Five million followers. Does it even like? It does. Okay. I, I'm not gonna lie and say it doesn't. It, yeah. it really does because I put I dedicate like one of my biggest goals long term is I dedicate my whole life to, like you said with your comedy. You know. Yeah. You, you make someone laugh, bro. Like that that feeling is it, oh, it's yeah. priceless. It's irreplaceable. Yeah, it's purpose. yeah, for sure. So when, when I look at my stats and see I'm reaching this many views and I travel around the world to Australia, to my hometown, and like there's, there's videos where I, I interview kids a lot, you know, mm -hmm. and people don't understand like, yes, I have OnlyFans, right? And yes, I cater to a certain audience for that, but a majority of, on my main, main TikTok account, a majority of my fans are actually like 10 to 20 year old kids, man. Cause mm -hmm. they like, they think I'm funny. Like they look up to yeah, me all yeah. this shit. And I'll be working out at my park that I grew up at uh, called Mentone back home in Australia. And I'm with my brother and his kid. He's like three years old. And then like all these kids are like, oh, I follow you. Like they come up to me like, oh, I follow you. You're so funny. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, thanks guys. Like blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, do you want to be in a video? And they're like, yeah, oh my God. Oh, we would love to. <laughs> hey bro, like we make this video, like they're, they're, it just makes their day. And they're like, oh, when are you uploading it? When are you uploading it? I'm like, oh, I'll do it tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. And then like I'll read in the comments and they're like, bro, they're just like tagging all their friends. Like they're so happy. And then people like on the same videos will be like, oh, call, call the police, like all this shit. Like they don't, they don't see the yeah. context behind it. Cause I'm just like this shirtless guy interviewing kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the <laughs> back in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah. bro, kids not knowing uh, the concept of age is fucking hilarious and it's so viral. And like every time I do it, like it, it pops off. But um, wait, so what do you ask the kids? What kind of question do you bro, ask the kids? It's so simple. I just say, how old am I? Okay. And they're like, some say like eight, some say like 40. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just oh, don't know. Really like they really yeah. just don't know. How do you think, oh, how old do you think Jeff is? He's in his 30s. 30, 30, 30, 34. And Mario? 57. You? You're 28. <laughs> Damn, he's good. He is good. He's good. Was he's I right? Good. He's good. He was Bye. young on me and I like it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Yeah. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Three How guys. Old is mm. I'd say he's closer to my age. I'm 25. He's, he's 20. He's 26. Close to, yeah, close to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you? 29. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucked up. It's the Yu Gi Oh card, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It threw me it's off. The Yu Gi Oh yeah. card, it throws yeah. you off. That white dragon. It throws you <laughs> off. Yo, you know why I asked you about that? Because one video, I just remember this. One video showed up on my account. I don't even know which one it was, but it said something. I saw the, the caption that said, Oh, I'm ugly. Something, something, something. I can't remember what you said. You might have referred to OnlyFans after that, but yeah, yeah. it said, Oh, I'm ugly. And I was thinking, Man, I wonder if he gets like the normal hate that oh yeah a lot of people go through. I know oh. I saw because I just did this reaction video. I saw one of your comments <laughs> and stuff where you like um um you lift your shirt, you go like I have a six pack, and then people go like girl. and then people go like uh your bros got a three pack yeah, and yeah, like yeah. some shit like that. <laughs> it's like yo, <laughs> like, no. it's so fucking weird because you know it's like. The body, sh it's so weird, man, because you know, you look like better than like 99% of all people, you know, but then there's some dude who's like, you know. Bro, do you know what I find so funny? We live in a world where we're so sensitive. Like if you, if like we're in our spotlight, mm -hmm. you know, we have a platform and we say the wrong thing about, you know, this community or we use this word or blah, 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 or we just speak an opinion of it, of it you know, it's free speech. Sure. Everyone has a problem with it, but then on every fucking app, Facebook, oh, YouTube, wow, you look at yes. all the comments and they're like, oh, this guy's fucking fat. This mm, guy's that, this guy's mm, this. Oh, fuck him, fuck her, this, that. 
And that's an, so another thing like, another, like that's, what was your question again? I can't even remember now. Oh, you said what uh, has it ever it like, gotten When you oh, found yeah, out yeah. you were gay. Yeah, so <laughs> like. <laughs> well, I saw your comment. I mean, I saw the, the caption that said, oh, I'm ugly. Something, something. I was like, wow, is he actually, he's getting hate? People are like saying you're ugly? Yeah. Or did you just, okay. Yeah. So that's just pure hate. But it, it goes back to a, another cons, like question. And that's like specifically like what I've experienced with my own OnlyFans, like 75 to 80% of my fans are like, love the shit I put out. I'd say 80%, right? Mm. They, they're they like, oh my God, this is so hard. I love it, this, that. And then like, I'll read like forums and shit or like other comments and like people will take any chance to be like, oh, this guy's a small dick or something like that. <laughs> and it's like, bro, it's so yeah. funny because like, I, I love my dick, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> and I read these comments, I'm we, like- We, we do. Yeah, thank all, you. We <laughs> all do. No, but like I'll read a lot of, <laughs> I'll read a lot like other people's forums. So like, I feel like I feel like the average dick is like five and a half inches, right? And I'm, I, I formed the. Have you heard of the GPI, the German Penis Institute? No, what's that? I, I'm the I'm the co-founder, and he's the chairman <laughs> of the he's the chairman of the German Penis Institute. I used to make this videos on YouTube where I ask people about yeah, their yeah, penis yeah. size, you know. So um, yeah, it is actually it is actually five oh, in America. Five? Yeah. Oh. Apparently, fun fact: I heard this on Joe Rogan. Dicks are getting bigger. Wow. I know uh, it's, how, it's how, rough. It's rough. I, <laughs> fuck. I was like, fuck. <laughs> We're gonna, cause we're we're barely like we're we are barely holding on to the average. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. The average is now. We're like, Fuck! well, it depends on what like what culturally, what part of the world. But a lot. Of oh yeah, are, let's move to Korea. But oh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people have like growing dicks and showing dicks, and being mm. a lot of being around like you know some friends. And Alfie. Stuff. Yeah, and you bro, you even see like online people like saying, "Oh, his dick's not that big." I'm like, bro, this guy's got like a fucking eight inch dick. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I, th I think I'm like a solid six, maybe a little, a little more, maybe like a centimeter more than a six. But to me, bro, I've never, I've never <laughs> thought in my life like this was the case. And then it's like I realize it's not that it's it's not that I have like a fucking trophy dick, you know? Mm, it's yeah. not like. Oh, I have like this fucking massive dick. And that's where I realized the negative comments, uh, comments, yeah. negative comments come from is because they see that as like, oh, this is a way we can make him vulnerable yeah. and target it. Just like saying, oh, right. you know, his right. hairstyle sucks or yeah. this. Cause it, it's just, again, it's body shaming. Sure. And honestly, I find it ironic, you know, coming from a community that's so like sensitive about like certain words and pronouns and all that. But at the same time, no, seriously, bro. No, At the same time, you're gonna right. like literally fucking body shame someone on every every opportunity available. It's like, bro, I I love myself, and you know, I love me. I don't give a fuck about your opinion, so you say what you want. That's you amazing. Know? I want to commend yeah. you for that because it's not yeah. easy, like dealing with that hate, and especially if you go on forums. Oh, are you 100%. talking about? Are you talking about long penis support? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, that was what I wanted to exactly. know. Yeah, that place is fuck. so crazy. If you guys don't know, the Long Penis Fox Support is Group fuck. is a website online where all the social media people are. And it's a forum where people just like trash talk you. Mm. And at first I was like, <laughs> oh shit, I'm featured on a website called Long yeah, Penis no. Support <laughs> Group. I was flattered. I was like, fuck yeah. But then the shit they're writing is fucking crazy. People always talk about my sexuality, right? They're like, oh, Mario, is, is he has a girlfriend, but he's actually gay. I once went out with him when he was in Singapore oh. and he made me suck his dick in the bathroom. I'm like, wait, what now? <laughs> like, what? I, I Either I don't remember this at all or people just make up the crazy shit mm. and people are like, oh yeah, I totally see that. My friend told me the same thing. I'm like, who are these people? Yeah. Who are you? That's terrible. That's crazy. <laughs> and to your point of like people like, being sensitive, but then like <laughs> trash talking you, Riley. What was the comment somebody left on my page saying like I'm a, a, like you're gay baiting and then using a slur? Mario, um, I can't believe you're so insensitive. You are you are gay baiting. That's oh, so retarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, "It's so, so retarded." retarded. So, yeah. Do you know, I've I've met people like females in mm -hmm. my own fucking apartment building who they're like, "So are like are you actually gay?" And I'm like. What's it to you? Like, right. I don't, I don't, you just go asking for people's sexualities like yeah. all the time. That's like, so weird if you ask me about their sexuality. It's and like, I'm like, I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, but like, I'm like, why? Like, she's like, well, you know, I, I feel like I see your content, like you're a gay beta, you're a queer beta. And I was just like, look, like I said before, I'm an attractive guy. Mm. I like to be sexual. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to be a sexual beast. I like to be sexy around my sexy friends. If if gay people want that and they want to look at me, 
I'm I'm giving them what they want. I'm sure. ca- I'm catering to the audience. Yeah, and it's not that I'm I'm using you. It's just you want that, and I'm gonna give it to you, and baby. You're not harming you know? anybody, mm. right? No. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. Yeah, <coughs> and it, it makes me feel like, and not 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 all people have this view. It's like everything. It's only a certain percentage of people who are ungrateful, like with the content you give them, or you know, have these vast views of you. But I think it's just it all comes back to love, bro. You just got to be like. Dude, at the end of the day, I don't have any hate in my in my bones for anyone. I just love Self everyone. Love, and I, if you yeah. want to like love me and look at me, like I fucking love that. Like, yeah, I'll, yeah. I think self love is the most important. That's the journey from like personal journey for me. That's like the journey of self love is everything mm. for me. Based on like whatever I don't get into, but like you know, it's like some mommy issues, whatever. So self love. If you love yourself fully and you fully accept and love yourself, there's no reason for you to hate on other people. Because mm-hmm. the only reason you hate on other people is because you're insecure and they bring out something that triggers your self hate. Hundred percent. That then is like you know you're afraid of. So yeah. If you hate others, you hate yourself. <laughs> yeah. Hundred percent. I'm only yeah. a cunt when I'm having a bad day, and then I realize like <laughs> fuck. I'm yeah. I'm taking my anger I'm out on the world cunt. when I shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. But, That's um, true. Let's Damn, talk bro. about masturbation. Yeah. Mm. What about it? I think we should. I switched I my. Sh- I switched my. Ha- what do you mean? Because we're getting too deep here. We need to like, you know. <laughs> no, because I was gonna say. I think we're we losing know. viewers here. Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about dicks. <laughs> no, with how new, big is your dick right now? <laughs> I like how the big is it right now. Yeah, currently. Mm, I don't know. It doesn't feel very big right now. I'm pretty <laughs> soft. I'm pretty <laughs> soft. <laughs> it's got the cold water. Yeah, on the cold water. <laughs> Between us, I'm fully hard right now. <laughs> 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 we'll make it feel uncomfortable for any of you guys. It's good. Yeah, enough, fully. Yeah. No, I think we should cancel the no fap culture because. Mm. Back to what you were saying, all seriousness, like telling people not to fap, it's a form of self love. I think watching porn is bad. I think that I is think bad. It's about balance, yeah. Like balance too. But yeah, if you, if you're, bro, have you ever had a, a wank where, do you call them that? Americans wank? No, but yes. I mean, yeah, I guess yeah, some Moses. people do. I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask. Yeah, I'm German. So you ever had a wank where, like, bro, you're so hard just by the, the thought of yourself mm. and you're like, you're so, you're just visualizing and you're closing your eyes and you're horny. And that cum shot is so much better than, any cum shot you have watching porn because it's like out of pure self-love. So well, what, you, what do you do? Do you like sitting down, coconut oil is ready and you look yourself no, in the mirror just, no, and you got like tail, your fucking ponytail, whatever your hair is, whatever your hair thing is called. <laughs> your little rat tail looks so good today. <laughs> it's like, not planned. It comes from like a impulse. Okay. It's like, yeah. What do you think happens. about? Do you close your eyes? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you just, I, I like to think of like, just not even mm-hmm. fantasies, just like <coughs> old old memories. Not your partner, yeah. I guess. New people, <laughs> new no, people no, no, fantasies with old memories like combined, like okay. you know, mixing them together. Yeah, mm. like old memories, like being on a podcast with Jeff and Mario. Yeah, and then, then you know this one. Damn, that's yeah. crazy. I mean, have you ever done that? No, but I'm actually what? right now. I'm like, um, I. I have you ever done that? He's asexual. I have um not ace. I have to listen. I have He's like I'm not asexual. Him. I'm like reconnecting with sexual. I've had some sexual trauma. I'll be fully honest okay. with you. I've been yeah. like you know sexually assaulted as a model. So like I really was afraid of sex for a long time. So now I'm like actually in the process. I talked to a friend of mine. Uh, I talked to Travis about it. <clears throat> it tantra, mm. which is essentially what you're saying. Yeah, tantra, tantra is like a self love practice. Yeah, and it, it's like you touch yourself, but the the goal is not. To getting to climax, yeah. the goal is to express love to yourself. Yeah, that's cool. And that's what I want to try. I'm actually in the, that's no actually climax. saying this. No. Because I think he's saying you kind of need to have that climax. <laughs> the guys, full it's like shot. a porn set, guys. We imagine, need the Nobody gets paid if you don't get the cum shot. <laughs> imagine listening to a song without a chorus. Like, how are you going to do that? Dude, no, no bueno. No bueno. No bueno. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. There's also edging. There's so many things now. <laughs> edging is real, bro. Edging is real, yeah. Yeah. Shit's nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that that's fantastic. I think, I think yeah. <laughs> we got there. We got there. Um, <laughs> I th- yeah, man. I, I want to try it. I want to try it. Also, like with a partner. But the the concept that you don't you don't come, and I think that's the whole that's the whole point. I think no fab. There's a there's a place and time for because if it, if it, if no fab, I'll be fully honest, guys. I'll, I've been re- I told Riley this. I've been reconnecting a little bit with, with my sexuality, and I don't know what happened, but since I came back from the Philippines from a trip, I've been feeling more horny again. Uh, okay. okay, so I journaled about this. I'm very self aware, so mm. I was literally journaling, and I was writing in my journal. I was like, "Dear diary, lately, I've been feeling very horny. I feel the strong need to." You do journal, and, and then I had to, yeah, and then I had to stop writing because I, I needed to, to jerk off. Yeah, 
<laughs> and then I went back to so I've been feeling the yeah. need to. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, yeah, literally. Like in the moment, <laughs> I was like, you know, that next sounds good. So I, like, I had to start. It, it was weird, and I've never had that before. Mm. I, I feel like now my body, I'm kind of like over, you know, like overcompensating for all this like sexual like suppression I've had to yep. like you know become a sexual beast, just like Teo. We gotta so, have a YouTube yeah. title also. Yeah. This podcast is <laughs> gonna be beast. titled "Sexual Beast Something," you know, like, yeah. <laughs> uncensored with sexual Australian beast Teo. You know, the fapping, it just seems a little too easy sometimes, Teo, you know? Like, like to, to porn? Well, to porn, I guess it's super easy. Too easy, yeah. But even though, I don't know, think of a lot of nerdy kids out there that it's just a little easy. They rub one out and they never go out into society. They never and challenge And when themselves. you do that, you're, you're sort of decreasing. It's like eating a cheeseburger, right? You're decreasing your self-worth momentarily and you never get to like, it's a really good feeling, bro, when you're out. And you're not even like looking for it or trying and a girl just like lock, like, you know, she just compliments you or something. You're like, you just know in that moment, like, yeah. oh, okay, I, I could fucking destroy you right now. You know, you could, yeah. but like, you could, I, I would, these, these, I could, you should, her, yeah, I on. could tickle her. You could, you could destroy her. But you, right. you should experience that as like a single guy in once, well, not once, but like whenever you can in your lifetime. But these, like you said, these kids, they're like never getting that confidence from knowing, like feeling the attraction with like someone else because they're just fapping all the time. It's safer. You don't get rejected. <laughs> Fuck yeah. rejection. That's true. Well, a lot welcome of people rejection. are afraid. That's true. No, I, I, I feel that. I feel that. But for a lot of people, it's just, I see what he's saying too, to do the whole no fap. I think like for sure, like socially, I think it's going to become even a bigger problem mm. with uh, virtual reality oh, so bad. and with all the technology now I truly think we're going to get to a place where there's going to be less need to procreate yes. because we're going to have all this like we're probably going to have a well, we can push a button to have the same dopamine release that it gives you fully in AI or in a virtual reality you can have an AI sex doll that reacts to you or yeah, whatever and yeah. I think we, we will have just, sex dolls like like full robots that fuck us in less than 10 years for sure and it can mm -hmm. render going yeah. out redundant yeah you know? and look feel exactly like a normal person yeah that's crazy i think elon musk said that the population of the world the problem is that it's decreasing yeah. not increasing yeah. so that that's interesting you said that 100 percent. that's that's mm. what yeah and then yeah even in china now like china had the one trial policy now they're, they're now they're having a pro like you know they should have done like a you know 1.5 <laughs> policy or something like yeah, that cut, you know? cut him in half <laughs> yeah. well yeah. that's that's what Hollywood's full, you know, like they, they take the extra 0.5 for themselves. What do you mean? <laughs> the islands, you know. <laughs> now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting oh, it. You know, the, the corrupt I'm celebrities not. who like drink baby's blood. The, the, yes. What now? <laughs> what say? It's called something too. I forgot what it's called. What's it called? Oh, oh, what's it called? Uh, oh, so the conspiracy theories that like. I mean, the is conspiracies, this, but I believe yeah. it comes from truth. So. Is the same thing where like Hillary Clinton had like um <laughs> like was eating babies or what what I was the thing? So, yeah, yeah. I, oh, oh, adrenochrome. 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 Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. They were saying that about online for a long time about like there was a big pedophile conspiracy and then fucking Epstein happened, so it was legit. It probably is rooted in some truth. Mm. So if we want to stay even, young, we got to drink. Who Epstein is until all that. Right. Yeah. Me neither. Who is I, he? I, I still don't know who, like, why is, who is he? Why is he important? Well, he had an island. That's what I know. Yeah, uh, and he was, you know, he was taking baby girls. Like, Zhao Ying has a stand up set about that. You know, my French Chinese mm. comedian. She has, like, this very edgy stand up set about, like, how she was taken to the dumpster as a kid. And then I'm just going to do her joke now. I can't believe that I, as a German, I'm doing a, a joke of a Chinese woman. She goes, like, uh, yeah, and all the other baby girls were taken oh, shit. by hyenas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but like and why Jeffrey was, Epstein. Why was he rich? Like, why is he famous in the first place? You know, we should Google that. Yeah. Insert, even know this no stuff. one knows. It's the first thing it says on Wikipedia. It says Jeffrey Epstein was an American sex offender and <laughs> financier. So that's financier. And financier. first billing, first billing sex offender. Oh, that's hilarious. He's a sex offender first and then he got into finance. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Primary occupation. I mean, what is he most famous for? Is he, is he more famous for finance or is he more fi famous for sex spending? <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think the latter, right? Uh, some boring shit. He did some boring shit, right? He was just a rich guy and Absolutely. you know, it was kind of financing. What do you want your, like, okay, when somebody Googles you in the future, you know, they, they don't put in Epstein, they put in Teo Ritchie. Is mm -hmm. it Ritchie or Ricky? Ritchie. Ritchie. Yeah, double Teo, C. Teo Ritchie. What do you want it to say? Teo Ritchie. 
sex offender <laughs> TikTok. So I think, what do you what do you what do you want us to say? What is the thing that definitely you know, like, not that? Um, <laughs> Take that sound, man. <laughs> Richie sex offender. Oh, fuck. <laughs> why, is, why are we laughing? Oh, funny. Um, I, I think definitely I want people to not have to Google me. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> I want That's I want to be like, I, I just want to just be everything, bro. Just everything and everyone. And, and all at once. And, yeah, all at once. I just, <laughs> yeah, like fucking just, I uh, just, at the end of the day, uh, apart from my own selfish desires of my own successes and accomplishments, I want to just give back to other people by just doing shit like this and being real. Not too real where we get not too real, not yeah. too real where we get murdered for it. But yeah, like, yeah, you I see know. what you mean. Yeah, but like, yeah, just like being can, uncensored. Would you say uncensored uncens- is a goal of yours? Uncensored, yes. I, I love that because that's exactly what we're doing on this fucking podcast. Exactly. So make sure to subscribe, guys. New yeah. episodes every Thursday. Um, go check out Teo. You don't have to Google him because he's he's everything everywhere. Love you guys and all I want. You're amazing. Thank you, put guys. Put a poetic outro. I love it. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you. Good, 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 put good, a, put a like, sad song when he didn't see my hand just there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. That's thanks, how you bro. edit your TikTok. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it. Right <laughs> there. I can see it.